I'm John Larson, Technical Trainer for EpiRock USA Surface and Exploration Drilling. Today we're going to talk about components on the FlexiRock D60 and D65 model rigs. To begin, we're on the cabin side of the machine. We'll open up the first panel. Here we have our A1 panel, our Certique or MTU unit, which monitors the machine's performance or any warnings that come off for reporting back to the mine operator. Inside the A1 cabinet, we have our fuses, our computers up on top, safety relay, other relays necessary for engine and other options on the rig, as well as a map to what all these components and numbered wiring are for troubleshooting. Here we have our J1939 connector for engine diagnostics and to log into the ECM system. Further back on the cabin side of the machine, we open up the rear door and we'll find our hydraulic oil tank with the sight glass indicators, rock drill oil tank with the sight level indicators as well. Here we have our hydraulic oil filler pump, it's a manual pump, our fuel water separator, our two fuel filters, our oil filter is behind it. Here we have the heating cable element, which is a heating cable for the compressor air lines to prevent icing and buildup when we do a startup. The compressor air filter with the inner and outer air filters installed. Below here is our battery switch, the master switch for the machine. Inside there we have our engine preheater, which is a diesel fired preheater. Here we have our compressor air pressure gauges. We have an interstage gauge and an active air gauge. Our pre-separator tank with the pre-separator element inside, the level indicator for it, and the fill. Here we have the oil filters for the compressor oil, the compressor condensate drain filter with the drain on the bottom, our high pressure air regulator, our low pressure air regulator, and our cold start valve in the back. Behind this cover, we have our two batteries, our pre-separator drain for when we do our daily drain of the water. Up on top, we have our hydraulic oil cooler. Down below is a compressor oil cooler. Here at the back of the machine, we have our ladder for accessing the roof, the cooling fan for the hydraulic oil and compressor oil, a light on the left, our backup camera, backup alarm, and strobe light for tramming as well as a water mist tank reservoir with pump installed on the top. The other cooling fan is gonna be for our charge air cooler and our engine coolant. We also have an auxiliary air output with a ball valve for controlling it. At the bottom of the rig are tie down or tow points should you need them. Here at the back of the non-cab side of the machine, we have our engine coolant cooler, our charge air cooler, our DEF fluid reservoir, and the sight glass for the engine coolant. Moving towards the front, we have our dust collection system, the fan motors on top with fan. Inside here, there's 32 dust collector filters. Our engine oil level dipstick, our engine oil fill, and the valve block and adjustments for controlling the dust collection system. We also have a pressure regulator inside there for the amount of pressure we're using to clean out the air filters with each pulse, not to exceed seven and a half bar on this machine. Moving further forward on the non-cabin side of the machine, we have our engine air cleaner assembly, pilot control valve, some IO modules and decoders, as long as our test port for the hydraulic system for pumps one through six, we also have our air conditioner condenser assembly. Here we have our diesel fill, rotation control block, tramming control block below it, all mounted on the back of the boom pedestal, as well as the, the bulkhead for hydraulic lines and such going forward on the machine. Dust collection hose and another auxiliary air output. Out here in the front on the feed, we have our pre-separator element the dust collector hose, which attaches from the bottom of the dust pot to the pre-separator element, a valve block underneath a guard, 
which controls all of our hydraulic movements for rod handling, rod changing, as well as our breakout table that's down here. We also have our carousel, lower centralizers, and safety guards. Out here on the side, we have our winch controls. Again, with our upper breakout jaw, lower breakout jaw, upper centralizer, and lower centralizer. Here we have our safety trip wire with the resettable button, our feed motor, our banana link and hydraulic cylinders, as well as the feed chain for feeding the drill string up and down. Here we are between the boom and the cabin. Coming off the front of the engine, we have pumps one, two, three, and four. Underneath this cover, we have the valve block and hose connections for the, all the positioning cylinders for controls inside the cabin. Here we are at the front of the wagon frame where we have our center lubrication pump with reservoir, our thread greasing spray reservoir with pump, and our washer fluid reservoir with pumps installed. Here at the front of the cabin, we can see our front glass, side glass with windshield wipers on both. Our roof glass also has a windshield wiper. There should be a light on each of the four corners for nighttime drilling. We also have a toolbox here to keep tools or greases you may need while drilling. If you need further assistance, refer to the maintenance or parts manuals for the component locations. You can also contact an EpiRock service center or dealer in your area.